This morning's What's It Like To is a doozy. What's it like to be a flat earther, to believe that the earth is not round, not a globe, but flat? We're joined by Flat Earth Dave. David Reese. <laughs> David, good morning. Um, wh- why do you believe that the earth is in fact flat? Well, it's not a belief. Belief is the enemy of knowing. You know, you believe the Earth is um, a spinning ball flying through space, but you couldn't tell me the circumference, the, 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 the radius, how fast it's spinning at the equator, how fast it's orbiting the sun, how fast it's chasing the sun. These are all things that we're just told, and we don't, we don't memorize them, and we don't know them. But when you actually lay it down and think about what it is, it makes absolutely no sense. We're orbiting at 66,000 miles an hour. We're chasing the sun at a half a million miles an hour. We're, cha- we're going 4.4 billion miles a year but if you go out tonight and look at the stars and then next year at the same night same time look at the stars every star is in the exact same place this is impossible and what I call the matrix and the matrix is the heliocentric system which is a prison for your mind how's that okay, so you believe that the earth is flat if that's the case then where's the edge of earth well I could ask you the same question where's the edge of um of your of your your universe but that's not that's not really fair the um the earth the earth is has hills and valleys so it's not technically flat it's level large bodies of water at rest lay level okay um and what what it is is if you if you listen to any of the mainstream you'll see it and just did a big hit piece they come out and they they make you think that we're a disc floating in space which is the flat earth society right we're not the Flat Earth Society. That's a disinformation site that Google will serve to you. You search Flat Earth, you're going to end up there. Okay, you're going to end up at CNN. And these are these are this is not what it is. So real quick, what the Flat Earth is? When it rains, where does the water accumulate? Top of a hill? No, uh, well, down the bottom of the hill. I guess. Yeah. And then what holds the water in? The land that's higher than the surface of the water. That's the container of the water. As I said, large bodies of water at rest need. Um, a container. So a pond is a bigger puddle. A lake is a bigger pond. What holds the water in a lake? The land that surrounds the lake that holds in the water. You with me? Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm not following any of it. So, so wait. So a pond. Think about this. A pond. Yeah. So you were saying the, that if it was round, the water would just like fall off. Into well, well if, if we're round spinning in space, there's so many problems with that. But once you look at what the flat earth is, it's like a pond, right? We live in the Antarctic basin. They tell us Antarctica is the highest land on earth. They tell us it's a continent at the bottom of a ball, but they tell us it's the highest land on earth. It is. It's the shoreline that surrounds our, our, our world. It is the shoreline of our world. So what's out here in the outer space? What's beyond the shoreline? We don't know because it's off limits. Since 1959, they came up with the, with the, um, Antarctic Treaty to protect the penguins and the ice, but go ahead, deforest the Amazon. That's fine. Um, and nobody is allowed to independently uh, explore out there. No one. That's conspiracy theory because people don't want us to get to the end of the earth and find out that we've been riz- raised with a lie. Well, it's not a conspiracy theory. I mean, if you if you look if you look at um, you know if you Google Antarctica from space, it's all cartoons, right? There's no photos of Antarctica. Antarctica is the shoreline that surrounds our world pond. If you have a tub of water and you get rid of the tub, the water's gone. Water doesn't stick to the outside of a ball in a space vacuum. We live in a high pressure system. Nowhere in science, in any lab, in nature, anywhere has anyone ever been able to show high pressure, we live in a high pressure system, next to low pressure or a vacuum of space, which is even worse, without it equalizing immediately. Uh, Did you get invited to many dinner parties, mate? (laughs) (laughs) You know, there's a there's a lot of flat earthers out there now. There's there's um over yeah there's tons. There's millions. Uh, Hey so David, I guess one of the obvious questions for you would be how do you explain then photos of Earth that are taken from space where Earth clearly looks spherical and round. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to like this because all of the photos that we see from space are uh, paintings. They admit that they're paintings. Um, th- so if you, look, if you look at the one that was on everyone's um, iPhone, um, that, was, that was admitted by the NASA visual artist that it was made in Photoshop. 
it was it was made in Photoshop. He said he, he made it in Photoshop. And then when NASA gives us other pictures, they show us all these crazy pictures. These are balls, right? These are these are paintings. These are simple paintings that none of them make any sense. And they're very easy to paint. Who've been, who've been in, in, the, in a, you talk to an astronaut, surely they can say that they've seen it as a ball. Yeah. Ready? You're not going to like this. They're all liars. Nobody has been to space. It's really, you know, it's like, oh my God, they're heroes, the national heroes. The, there was an astronaut in, in, um, in Poland that came out a couple years ago. He said, no one's ever been to space. Earth is flat. I can, I can assure you of that. There's a new video out called, there's no there, one's been to space. Like no one's been to space. space. Yeah. Space is not as described space. You can't have science will not let you have a vacuum next to a high pressure system. You know, the story of space is we have burning gas balls in space. That's a problem. You can't have burning gas balls in space. You know, everything, all the rocks turn into planets, all the gases turn into balls and left a vacuum in between. Nobody can ever demonstrate that. It doesn't work. Okay. Dave, I've got a question for you. Yeah. What do you make of COVID? What do I make of COVID? You know what? I had it. I got sick and now I'm better. I didn't die. <laughs> I, uh, so Dave, with the with the flat Earth theory, so the Earth is flat, and you've got the Antarctic edge, the Antarctic the shoreline of our world. Go ahead. Get world. it right, Lemo. What? God, what, Lemo. What's underneath? Yeah, yeah. So, so what's underneath the Earth? And the the answer to that is. Um, the deepest hole ever dug was in Russia. It's called the Great Bora Hole, I think. And it, the deepest they got was seven and a half miles. And while they were digging that hole, they were using ground penetrating radar to see what they were going to hit next. And guess what? They were wrong every step of the way. Hey, no more rocks. They hit rocks. Hey, no more water. They hit water. And at seven and a half miles, they hit an impenetrable barrier. They tried for years blowing it up, drilling, all sorts of stuff. They couldn't get through it. So all of a sudden... They know what the next 4,000 miles is to the center. They, you know, they couldn't guess what was in. Like if they were drilling through the, an apple, you got halfway through the skin. They were wrong every step of the way, but then they know it at, at the core. That's called pseudoscience. Here's the thing that I would ask um, a scientist. Show me one scientific proof the Earth is a globe. And when you try to, you realize it's not a globe. It's a level plane. Mm. You know what? There's... And this isn't a scientific reason, Dave, but one thing that sort of makes me question some of your theories is that you're saying the Earth Mega Globe is a conspiracy theory and no one has been to space. I just find it hard to believe that that many people would be able to keep a secret. Correct. Yeah, Absolutely. Just Scotty given, there, like in this country, Dave, I'm, I don't know what life's like in the US, but in this country, we can't even keep our prime minister's text messages a secret. <laughs> yeah, in our country, our president can't keep certain things that happen in the White House. Um, a, a secret, but your country, your uh, president currently can't even send a text. Yeah, that absolutely. I'm with you, and uh, and you know that's 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 being very nice. Um, the so here's here's the thing: military people, submarine uh, captains, and and ship captains, and air force pilots. They've all come out. The whole bunch of them came out. There's a new movie called Flatten the Curve, not Behind the Curve, which was a Netflix hit piece, totally taken out of context flatten the curve you can find it on flatearthdave.com under the flat earth um uh te what, do, what do i what do i call it the, the um i have like a little test if you want to learn to learn flat earth real quick click click that button you'll see it on my website flatearthdave.com um but they all come out and they they tell their experiences one uh, ship's captain or, or gunnery guy says he can light up a ship a hundred miles away um with a pencil thin laser, well, there should be 6,600 feet of water in between them, a hump of water. Okay. Uh, submarine captains say they can, sonar guys, they can see another submarine 100 miles away. There should be a mountain over a mile tall between them. You know, in Australia, Port, Phil, um, Port Phillip Bay, and uh, you can see um, Melbourne across it. In, in Melbourne, you can see uh, Geelong um, across. Uh, from Melbourne on a clear day, that's 60 kilometers. There should be 220 meters drop, but you can see the whole thing. The, you know, it, it's one of the biggest, it might be the biggest inland bay in the world, and um, it is provably scientifically flat. If it was round, you wouldn't be able to see it. 
Well, on a ball, on a ball earth, right? And you guys, you, you guys believe in the ball, but you can't name one reason why you believe on the ball. But on a ball, when you go over the horizon, that's a physical horizon. On a flat earth, it's an optical horizon. What do I mean by that? When you look into the distance, the sky gets closer and closer to the ground. And the point where you can't tell the difference between the sky and the ground, that's your optical horizon. You zoom in and you can see um, you, it, it makes that place bigger again. And then you can see what's going on there. So... I feel like I need to lie down. Um, well, here's the thing. They didn't teach us. They didn't teach us to think like this in school. They told us stuff and then we just memorize and regurgitate. We get an A and we don't have any homework. Go ahead. Do you have any uh, sort of celebrity flat earthers who've, uh, yeah, who've joined your... That's a great, that's a great question. Um, I, I will say, I, I can't, I don't want to give the name away, but there's a lot of them. Um, Amy Irving, she's a flat earther. Um, I don't want to say another one because he's spoken to us privately, but he has his own television show. He used to be on a show about a bar. Then he f franchised off from that, had his own show, might begin with an F. Okay. He's a flat earther. There's a, there's a whole bunch of people sitting in the wings because they don't want to get in trouble. They don't want to lose sponsorship. They don't want to lose, lose movie roles. Mm. Yeah, I think there's a couple of NBA players, <clears throat> of NFL uh, players as well. A, a bunch. And then uh, Qu uh, Qantas um, airline pilots, they, they all know. And um, when they, uh, they talk about it in their bar, in their, in their lounge, but they don't talk about it publicly because they'll be grounded as soon as they do. We interviewed a KLM pilot, and the next day she was grounded and fired. Well, wow. I'd say, I'd put one question for you. What's the benefit yeah, to great. everyone of pretending that the Earth is a globe and not flat. Yeah, that's <clears throat> that's a great question. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's because. They want you to believe that you're spinning out of control, lost in space, where an asteroid can take you out at any moment, like it took out the dinosaurs, which never existed. They want you to believe that we're gonna, a nuclear bomb could take us out, that we're running out of food, we're running out of water, we're running out of all these resources, when every family <clears throat> in America could live in Texas, have a half an acre in just Texas, which is just a state in our country. And... Um, there is no overpopulation. They're lying to us about the population, lying to us about who we are, where we are, the power of our minds. They don't want us to know that our thoughts create our reality. They don't want us to know the power that they have. They steer us with the news, north, east, west, south. The news is just to bring our vibration down, lower us, make us in fear, so we succumb to their supposed authority. And that's what it's all about. You reckon the dinosaurs never existed, Dave? Well, there was a in in the eighteen hundreds. This royal guy wrote a paper about dinosaurs. Published a paper about dinosaurs, and no one had ever seen a dinosaur before. In all of the you know from the buildings of the pyramids all the way forward, there was never a mention of a dinosaur. This guy writes a paper a year later to the day he discovers the first dinosaur. Okay, you'll if you look in in, in museums, no one has ever found a dinosaur skull. They find like one bone on top of a mountain, which happens to be like from a whale during. A uh, maybe a mud flood, if you will, and uh, they extrapolate these crazy dinosaurs. Look at the stegosaurus. Tell me how it made it. Impossible. We got off track with this. The is, this is why did. Dave never got a job at his local museum. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Dave, we are going to have to wrap it up there, but uh, we do appreciate your time and we do appreciate you uh, sharing your perspectives with us. That is David uh, Weiss, flatearthdave.com, if you want to find out more information. He also has the Flat Earth podcast. Uh, thank you for joining us. It's, on it's all there on flatearthdave.com and, and take, click the, the test, the, 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 the crash course it's called. Click the crash course. I, I challenge anyone to watch the first three videos. If you can watch those first three videos and send me one proof, I'll give you three Bitcoins for one globe proof. Oh, wow. Three Bitcoins. Wow, three really Bitcoins cool. for one scientific globe proof. And when you try to do that, you're going to end up just like me. You're going to be a flat earther. So, right. guys, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. And I encourage you to look further. Don't believe this 15-minute conversation or 10-minute conversation. You need to research it yourself. And if you Google it, you're just going to get fed propaganda by the propaganda um, you know, artists that are feeding us all the other nonsense. All right. Thanks, Dave. 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 Nice See you, Dave. Dave. Thank See you. Ya. Thanks. Real Jurassic Park for me, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wow. Uh, thank you, Dave. Thank you. All right. Bye -bye. Thanks.